good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's spring, apparently. Look, spring. There you are. Have, have a bit of that. So, there's a gauntlet stage, and as we know from our recent updated shenanigans, gauntlet stages are better now. And so I would like to introduce you all to this new eastery one, because I think they come in couplets, right? These gauntlet stages every month. This is the kind of special one that isn't called the April Gauntlet. Eggs of Chaos, level one. Sounds entry level and, and very me. Let's try it. Oh, Maui statues. Oh, it's nice to see that again. So what I'm really hoping for, really hoping for, is the Easter douche. When I saw this stage, I was like, oh, if I see an Easter douche even more ginormous than I've previously had the joy of experiencing, I am going to be very happy indeed. So that's really what I'm hoping for. At the moment, we got BB Bunny, we got One Horn, and the Maui base with his rings of fear. Although, not really fear. And there it is, the Easter douche. It is here with us, and it's not going to be too difficult, judging by all the stuff around it that is dying with just complete speed. Yeah, yeah. Level one is done, and because of the changes, all the changes, we can move straight into stage two. Isn't that really rather wonderful? Let's try and go a little bit faster on this one. We're gonna go Manica Razors, we're gonna go Jizo, and then we're gonna bide our time with our monies, get ourselves a Peach Devils. Two, three, four, five, six, go for it, along with some meat shielding as well. Meow, backwards, and there we go, the Easter douche is here. Let's also get, oh, I don't know, nothing's very fast. We're just gonna do GSO spam. That's all we're gonna do. I mean, none of this is gonna be too complex at the moment. It's level two, and that's all rather friendly and nice and fine and not too much to worry about. There we are, that is another level absolutely successfully dispensed with. And the third and final stage that we can do right at this moment, instantaneously, we enter. Oh, longer base length this time. More vandalism of the, the Mauis. Or they're craning their heads to look up at something, like they're sat at the front of a cinema or something. Jizos and Manica Razors. That seems to be the way. I mean, it's not gonna very much not be the way, because anything at this point, basically, is the way. This one horn is putting up a little bit more of a fight than the other ones we've seen so far, so I, I guess I respect you on that front, one horn. I like the idea of a stage that's going to go through a massive amount of different difficulties, and judging by the stars that are on the main level banner selection thing, it will go through a lot of different difficulties, and we're starting out, of course, right at the start. The easiness, the nice, pleasant Easter stroll through Easter Island and all of its strangely large inhabitants. Oh, Catamin A's. That's really good. I don't half quite like that. That's a good use for them because I was beginning to wonder what on earth I'd do with those things. If you know me, you know that I love things having multiple uses and being used in many different places. Returning to things, returning to arguments, returning to features. And going back to Catamin A's in this way is genius. I like it very much. So we're going to use them. Yes, please. Feeling a bit better. One clear chance available. Challenge stages again soon. Well, let's do it. Eggs of Chaos, level four. Let's be a, a little bit more cautious as we start this one. Let our monies roll up a little bit more because we're going to launch into this base with a bit more of an offensive this time. We're going to even have a stalling eraser. That is how much thought we are putting into this. Okay, maybe another eraser. Just to really knock it out of the park in strategic terms. And we're going to go the full half hog with a level four worker cap. Right, we've got plenty enough monies for like two things at once, so we're going to do two Avers and then meat shields. Nothing says Easter like Evangelion. Ooh, off you go. Bye bye, one horn. See you later. And now we can get our Peach Devils. That's way for the explosion a little bit there, but building up suspense, I guess. And the douche appears. Are you strong in your level four form? Well, you may be stronger but you won't be the strong guest, because I have two Avers, a Peach Devils, lots and lots of meat shields, lots and lots of Jizos, and basically, 
a whole load of confidence because you don't stand a chance, mate. Especially if you're gonna stand there because you will just lose. Stage five. I'm so glad that there's an option to get back on these stages. Now, I do concede that I am not aware of when this became a thing or if it always was a thing because if it always was a thing, that is a little bit better than I imagined the Baron stages being. I still don't really understand the justification for having a wait before challenging the next stage. Ponos have made it better and better integrated within the game, but in a fundamental sense, why? Why do we have a waiting mechanic? I kind of feel like it's only because that's just a different way of approaching levels in the game. And although I like the ingenuity of trying something different, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I think that that might be the line that's kind of been traversed here, is into doing something different for the sake of it. But what I immensely respect is the effort to integrate this better within the game. And it now, you know, at least feels relatively playable, which is why, indeed, we are playing. Oh, what a lovely hit from over a one. That was beautiful. Everything just collapsed before it. And the one horn has a very kind of satisfying death bounce. It goes back. It's like, whoa, what, what's happened? And then he's gone. It's amazing. And we're down below 100,000 health again and down to zero almost before we can even remark upon it. 250 grand in XP. Gosh, golly. Wow. Level six already. I'm going to try my luck a little bit again by trying to go quickly. Will a Jizo spam be enough at this stage, or will we start seeing a sort of nuancing of difficulty where our spamming isn't quite good enough, but our, you know, carefully considered uber spam? That, that's an oxymoron. Is definitely strong enough. That's a one horn gone, and loads of monies that I should have taken better advantage of, but oh well, it'll be fine. We'll get a Peach Devils in and keep just spamming the Jesus. I mean, it's not technically Jesus spam, but then again, when was having only one Ultra Soul not cheating, but two is? All of the surroundings of the Easter Douche are gone, and it is but a cold and unaccompanied soul. Well, there, there is an Easter BB Bunny there now, but both of them are precariously close to being behind the base and defeated. We are now chipping away on the base. Now here's a little bit of a sign of the increasing strength of the enemies though. We're not quite able to stay there, at least not without Peach Devils' help. But we do have the Peach Devils, so that's fine. And we're going to win yet again. What's happened there? 600 energy left and it's letting me do an energy recovery ad. That is very strange. We've got it, 180 energy. Well, Okay. Oh, that's a proper onslaught. Okay, let's see how we deal with that one then. I think in the background when we can afford it, we will get a Shadow Gale just in case. It hasn't been able to showcase itself yet, but could end up being very useful in the latter versions of these stages, especially given they seem to be normal type enemies. Once again, we have an uncovered Easter douche with nothing left to protect it, but it's wit and a BB Bunny that's just appeared. Very remarkably like last time. And just like last time, we're gonna win again. Okay, well let's switch this up. Let's get our fast slot in here and see if we can still win with that. We're gonna start off with a Manic Macho Legs, then a Manic Razor, and then Magla to get ourselves some monies because we do love their monies. After that, some Speedy Lion Boys to activate the base, as well as Bouncy Ball Boy who actually did and then hopefully with some extra monies from Maglev and a lovely bounce back hit, we can soon get ourselves a Bahama, I fear, as we spawn this a Bahama, that it's gonna be a little bit of a premature one and it's gonna be bitten to death and knocked back multiple times and won't be able to contribute very much. However, I might be wrong in thinking that I'd be wrong in putting it out at that time. Stuff is still weak enough for it to be extremely effective, but not against the Easter douche. Oh, it's been a little bit powerful, okay. You win, Signore, but I've got plenty more of these lions where the previous lions had come from. So don't you think that you're gonna get the better of me? Though, well, if all that stuff keeps building up, maybe they will. Oh, there we go, the tide is turning. We're pushing them back a little bit more. 
Okay, good. How's well, that eventually done? Coal. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm really determined to get to stage 10 to see if anything changes here. So that is our little mission. Let's start off with a really, you know, quite, quite ambitious maglev to activate the base there and then. Now this may turn out to be an extremely bad idea, but we've got to inject a little bit of excitement into our lives, haven't we guys? Haven't we guys? Maglev will hopefully, you know, kind of pretty much retroactively deliver us some monies where we really need them. And with stuff separated, I guess slightly, although the one horns were never really a problem, we can have the Abrahamet a little bit less bothered by stuff. This will not mean anything in practice because the only difficult thing it encountered was the big boss there, who is still there. Abraham got one, possibly two hits in. And hopefully that'll be enough to mean that we can be of the successful type of people. Will we end up being? Hmm. Kind of not looking like it. Kind of really not looking. Oh dear. Oh no, this is. Yeah, that really was rather over ambitious. I'm being beaten at, at level 9. This doesn't quite feel right. Oh, no, no, no. I've got the normal slot back now because I'm not sure that the fast one would have definitely been enough to beat it. I mean, we made a kind of big strategic error and just going for it gung-ho, but it might not actually be good enough. I mean, as you might expect, the difficulty is increasing as we go through these levels. And now at this stage, I think the transition into our we're actually on the verge of trying slot is best to make formally. Okay, the base is knocked and the bosses are here. Let's get Shadow Gow out with any further ado because it might be able to make a really big contribution this time. In anticipation of it, I'm going to be putting out all the meat shields that I've got to stall. In the meantime, Jesus and Peach Devils are going to be doing plenty of regulation damage to the lats. But now, over to Shadow Gal for some destruction to be dealt. I mean, it was a little bit far away for that one, so we'll let it walk up a little bit closer, and there we go. A very brief freeze on the Easter douche, but still one that is very useful. And again, bam, a knockback freeze. Lovely stuff. Walk up a bit closer, think about taking another attack, and oh, another freeze. I don't know why I pretended to be excited there, but maybe I should be now, because it's gone. Shadow Gal doing sort of unsurprising Shadow Gal kind of things. That's good. Two cat tickets that time, that's a little bit better. And so, stage 10. Does anything change? No, not by the looks of it. Well, let's round this off by getting ourselves into double figures. Right, I was thinking about being sensible with the strat, but then I put a Peach Devils out, so I guess that's kind of out the window, and we're just going to have to go for it again. Nice freeze on the one horn there. Now that these one horns aren't, you know, sort of just dying in one tiny stroke of uh, a, a Jizo's left arm. I don't know. Actually, thinking about it, Jizo's left arm's a bit small. Might not reach one horn. Right, here we are. Shadow Gow again. I'm going to knock you all back with a breaker blast and anticipate the strength of your double figures nature. Oh, well, I'm fairly sure that you won't be strong enough to bring us any resolute challenge. I wonder though, on the beginner account, whether we'd be able to get this far. These are big, chunky units, and yes, I could put a lot more thought and dedication into the strategy, but they might be too much. I mean, I, I was on a very delayed Cat Army's day off on the beginner account, and, and that was really quite a struggle. And, and that, well, actually, I, I just couldn't do it. Because chunky things just end up kind of chipping you away and causing you more problems than you're able to actually solve. And thus, you're left with defeat. I wonder whether that would happen there. But it's not going to happen here. Perhaps unsurprisingly. But this is the furthest that I've ever got in a Baron stage. And, you know, for me at least, let's not underestimate the difficulty that stage design adds to this. You know in the sense of actually wanting to do the stages. It's still only once one Catamin A. Well, we'll wait this time. It's fine. But that's interesting. I thought it would increase the cost. How many total stages are there? Is it 30? I think it's 30. 20? Oh my golly. We're halfway there. That might be something that we can finish off in due course. Well, for now at least, I hope that you've enjoyed that. And I'll see you later.